Well, some breaking news in the last hour or so. Leeds have announced the signing of the Colombian international Luis Sinistera from Feyenoord. The 23-year-old arrives at Ellen Road and has signed a five-year deal until 2027. The winger scored 23 goals and made 14 assists last season. Well, there's been a quick substitution. Carve Solicol out, Mark McAdam in, super sub. Um, I've never seen him move so quick. <laughs> no, me and you both. Let's talk about the transfer window then from Leeds' perspective and, and seeing the departure of local favourite like Calvin Phillips would have hurt earlier in the week, but, but things are starting to look a little bit better. Absolutely. I think most Leeds fans will be satisfied with what's happened in the window so far. You go back as far as January and they started planning for this summer's window. Back then they were turning down bids for Calvin Phillips and Rafinha in the, the January win window and they were looking at how they would recruit and the strategy they would adopt for this summer. And it's certainly playing into their hands when you look at the business they've done so far. Like you say, Tyler Adams in yesterday and in the last hour or so they've confirmed as well their sixth signing of this summer in Lewis Sinister. The 23 year old from Fionoid. He's a winger. He's a very, very quick winger at that, but also someone that can play through the middle. He's played as a number nine at times, as well as that inside forward coming in on the, on the left wing. So he's a player that adds a little bit of a, a different dimension to their attack. Someone that is young and has huge ability as well. He signed a five year contract that will keep him at Ellen Road until the summer of 2027. He came over to Europe at just 19 years old from South America. He's a Colombian international as well, so he brings that pedigree as well. Uh, and he got to the Europa Conference League uh, final last season with Feyenoid, of course, beaten by Jose Mourinho's Roma in the final. So he has a lot of experience for a young man. And like we say, this brings Leeds spending to in excess of £90 million this summer. So where Leeds fans are thinking, oh, what a nightmare this window has been. We've lost Calvin Phillips and Manchester City. We're going to lose Rafinha. Six players in, £90 million spent. And what that suggests from the outside is that this is a, a plan and a structure and a strategy that they were planning for. They knew that they potentially could lose some of their better players, but they've gone out into the window and replaced them. And Tim Thornton, who covers Leeds for Sky Sports News, has always said they're very relaxed about the situation. They have a plan in place uh, and they knew that if they lost the likes of Rafinha or Calvin Phillips, they wouldn't be able to replace them with just one player. It would have to be two or three. And they've certainly backed the manager, Jesse March, in the players that they've signed already. So, um, yeah, big spending from Leeds uh, and now six players through the door, which has revolutionised that squad. And when you look at Leeds' recruitment as a whole, would you say that there's a common theme to the type of players they're bringing in? Well, I think when you look at any football club outside of the, the top four, maybe top six, but certainly the top four, their remit is, is almost the same. Uh, and that's to buy players for one fee and to sell them for two or three or four times more than what they they paid for them because any club outside of the top four or six in the Premier League knows that if you have a superstar that comes into the club plays really well that the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea and Manchester City and Manchester United will be looking and going well yeah he can do a job for us he's got the ability and quality to take us to the next level so we'll go and take him so the remit has always been for a lot of those clubs can we can we buy low and sell high and that's been Leeds philosophy over the last few years you look at what they paid for Rafinha of course he still is a Leeds player at the moment so it's important to stress that he hasn't left the football club but should he leave you'll be looking at the investment of, of him which was around 15 million the potential sell-on price tag is around 60 million so they are doing fantastic business the same with Calvin Phillips a player that came through their academy and, and someone that didn't cost them any money as a transfer fee but has made them 45 million plus so that's the type of philosophy and business that they've done which is the same as a lot of Premier League sides, but it certainly looks like they, they have a clear plan and philosophy in place and it's coming to fruition at the moment this summer. All right, Mark, thank you very much indeed for the moment.